Yeah, well, a lot of people felt like he was going to go be a professional kickboxer. There's more money in the UFC, <laughs> though. That's why he's here. We'll see if he can kick somebody's head off here tonight. I mean, he's going to look for it. You know, we have seen great kickboxers come into the sport before. We have not seen many that come with the background, with the tradition, the history that this man has in kickboxing. He is so sure that if it's a stand-up fight in the UFC, he beats anyone. And I'm talking anyone, the best in the world. He thinks he beats them, but he's gonna have to show that he can stay upright because this ain't kickboxing. This is mixed martial arts. You gotta make sure you defend those legs or you end up spending 15 minutes laying on your back. That's right, we did have some fun in our fighter meeting. He said, would you guys prefer a, a knockout with a kick or a punch? And he said, hey man, I mean, we wanna see you throw those feet. So we'll see if he can get the knockout here tonight in what is a very interesting stylistic matchup. Boxers in both of their names. You got the kickboxer versus the boxer, but the kick is ultimately what shows itself early. He has more weapons. He's got to use each and every one of them. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. Oh, beautiful handiwork there from Santiago Ponzinibbio. One of the better boxing games in this UFC welterweight division and really another amazing representative of the loaded American top team there in Coconut Creek. Frantic pace early on to this one. Whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws a perfect right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Oh, nice. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Just out of range with that left hook. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your Joy gets hit with a kick. Wow, vicious uppercut. 
Lands a nice straight. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. And do a work with the jab. Midway through round one. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have landed for Santiago Ponzinibbio. Hands on your face. One Circling guys, towards on. the left now. High kick, high kick. Misses with the left hook. Beautiful combination of top. <laughs> Unable to land with that punch. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking the shots. Big inside kick. We're under two minutes now to go round one. Well, block that punch. Straight right hand, no good. Very nice leg kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nice. Nice take down. Oh, and he moves into half guard. The guard pass is starting to pile up. Right away, he takes the far side underhook. Look for damage from the top to come now. The unbelly. He's waiting down. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's gonna get pissed. Looks like the referee could step in here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Troy. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. A oh, nice jab by Troy. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. He tries to take out the leg, beautiful leg kick lands. He can barely stand. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill levels of these two fighters. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. And the strike lands clean. Heavy kick downstairs. Ponzinibbio's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Missed with that right hand. Rips the body there. Oh, 
Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Ponzinibbio's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. <laughs> Trying to hammer that knee leg. So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Good work. Come on, let's work. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. Less than two minutes now to go in round two. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the guard. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, so he continues to badger that calf. You got to think his mobility is going to be compromised. Yeah, he's, he's a mobile. He's got to switch stances. He's got to put that as his back leg. He's got to try to hide that leg if he wants to get to the end of the fight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Nice counter left hook to the head. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Ponzinibbio's eye is closing up. Beautiful kick. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. 30 seconds to go. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. 20 seconds to go, round two. Oh, nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. Moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds.
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Moving to his left now. All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to... Oh! Oh, look at that. He's got to keep pressing here. Ponzinibbio's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, another calf kick, and that is not going to help matters. Got to think his ability to stand up is going to be questioned here soon. Very, very difficult to stand. He's got to get to the corner where the corner can get some ice on that calf to try to bring that swelling down a little bit to allow for him to go forward. Oh, back and forth we go. Good body shot in there. there. Oh, he's staying busy here, connecting with a barrage of punches. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Ponzinibbio's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Right hook to the head block. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ponzinibbio. He lands another head kick. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Ponzinibbio's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. Lands a good series of kicks here. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Ponzinibbio. He checked that last one. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved, I would think. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that, uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more of their reactions. Joy's in half goal. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style what? gets denied. What? Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Oh, the bruising on that calf, really problematic at this point in time. I might walk into the octagon and check a kick for <laughs> I mean, somebody's got to do something, because right now he is getting that leg beat up. Waning seconds here of round number three. Oh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, I'm not sure his nose is broken, but that is a nasty cut on the bridge of his nose. He heads back to the stool, and we'll see if the cut man can keep him in this fight. This cut, though, you know going after it. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. 
how is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? Go we on. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ponzinibbio's an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside physician and potentially stop this fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Straight right hand counter, useful. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, that hook has been there all night. There's another one by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Just misses with the straight right. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ponzinibbio's left calf really starting to show signs of bruising now. Got to figure out a way to make the adjustment, or this fight might end in short order. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for headhunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, man, that calf is going to be so sore for weeks. Another flush shot. I think we might get a stoppage here soon. A stoppage by leg kick. We don't see him very often. We've seen Edson Barbosa have one before. We felt like Ankaliyev was right on the verge to get John Bohovich. This guy better start to shoot takedowns right now if he wants an opportunity to stay in this fight. Nice straight right wing. He found his ring. Oh! 90 seconds to go in the round. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Ponzinibbio's tough as it gets, but that eye is downright nasty at this point in time. And you've got to wonder, given all the swelling, if that might even be a fractured orbital. Not good for Lim. Circling to his right. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counter as we go forward. Oh, nice combination, yes. <laughs> Unable to connect this. Oh, you got to like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 
Takedown defense holds up. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Santiago Ponzinibbio. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and his nose is severely cut up right now. This fight could end at any moment. All right, that'll do it for that round. Ponzinibbio's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time, and ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And Ready. then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. It's a beautiful kick. Oh, nice straight punch there by Choi. with that jab attempt there. Come on, let's work. That kick lands. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one kick check got the Anderson Silva situation. He's hurt, he's hurt. Another knockdown! Back, down. Back to his feet. Back down. Fighter lands a left punch now. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, nice, nice. Smart adjustment, yep. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shields. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Montanibio's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with me. No. Right side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 
great shot from the top position. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Well, he's no stranger to being in this position. Strong work from the top here by Ponzinibbio. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ponzinibbio. Oh, another strike lands from the top. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off of the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job. Back and forth action right until the final horn. That one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Boy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime. We'll see just how far he can take it. But tonight, undeniably, a huge step in the right direction for a guy who could be a future UFC champion. Furthermore, every verse there'll be several discrepancies. Have them up, it's nothing but death in your destinies. Set the template from what I've written on a piece of paper. And if I were, we won't be needed any mediator. Feeling comfy, you then they spot that I'm studying. They claiming they did it here, but they know that they understood him. Have them up, it's nothing on our heart. And yeah, the jobs are good and swimming in the deep. We got them drowned in the undercurrent. Good and smitted in the deep, we got them 